According to the Philippine Statistics Authority, around 3.50 million families or 13.2% were considered poor in 2021. On the other hand, the subsistence incidence among families was observed at 3.9%, which is equivalent to 1.04 million poor families below the food poverty line. For that reason, it is not surprising that there are approximately 4.5 million homeless people in the Philippines, which has a population of 106 million people. Poverty and homelessness are significant issues in the Philippines, affecting millions of people across the country. Despite its significant economic growth in recent years, poverty remains widespread and many Filipinos struggle to meet their basic needs including access to adequate housing. Do you know someone who lives in slums or squatter areas? Do you know someone who spends their cold nights lying on the sidewalks? Or do you know someone who spends their Christmas in the middle of the streets with no place to call home? If you don't know any, I'm sure at least you have seen one. Meet Alan Gabriela, a 35-year-old widowed woman with five children. Because of the COVID-19, she lost her husband, she became jobless and hopeless as well. Her family was originally from squatter area in Makati, but due to the demolition operations, she became homeless. But thankfully, she became part of a housing program in Barangay Sining Bata in Pandi, Bulacan. This resettlement residence is being supported by SIM or Soroptimist International of Makati. It is a local chapter of a global volunteer organization that aims to improve the lives of women and girls, just like Alin Gabriela, in local communities and around the world. The problem is, there is no current decision support system that will be a basis for SIM to develop a program that is specifically tailored for Pandi resettlement. Residence. Good day everyone and mabuhay. I am Jerome A. Tayaw together with Sander Balais, Maria Socorro Burabod, Ian Latumbo, and Clyde Carater. As part of our community service obligations, we are the project development team commissioned to develop a web-based community management information system for Pandi resettlement residences. This project will serve as the basis for the sustainability of the SIM Adapa Barangay Program, which seeks to uplift the lives of women and families in the community. We envision ourselves working towards capacitating, innovating, collaborating, and transforming a more progressive and sustainable community. Pandi faces challenges such as poverty, limited access to services, and social issues, which require the cooperation of the local government civil society, and private sector to address. Receptors in Pandi include senior citizens, solo parents, PWDs, and working students. Demo demographic data is crucial in creating specific projects that benefit the, the community and allows for tailored programs, effective resource allocation, progress monitoring, and community participation. However, there is currently no efficient system or processes to gather and monitor demographic data in Panti, which poses a challenges in devising and implement, implementing effective community and development programs. Reliable and real-time information is necessary to address these Therefore, challenges. We are, we are proud to introduce the Community Management Information System, CMIS, for Panti Resettlement Residences a web-based platform designed to help coordinate and keep track of community information, making the SIM adopt a barangay program more efficient and effective. The CMIS will allow SIM to gather data on the community demographic information, leading to data-driven decisions and effective services. By providing timely and accurate information to all stakeholders, the program's transparency and accountability will be increased and residents will be encouraged to give feedback and share ideas. The system includes a feature that allows residents of the Pandiri settlement res residences to request documents. 
These features enable residents to easily access important information and documents such as barangay clearance, business clearance, and etc. Next is feedback channel. The system includes a feedback channel that enables residents to provide feedback on the ADAPT A Barangay program. These features allows community members to share their thoughts and ideas with program managers, managers which can help to improve the effectiveness of the program. Next is community record management system. The system includes a community record management system that allows programs managers to keep track of important information related to the ADAPT A Barangay program. These features help to ensure that program managers have access to the data they need to make informed decisions about the program. Next is community statistic report. The system includes a community statistic reports that provides program managers with important data related to the ADAPT A Barangay program. These features allow program managers to assess the current situation of the community and devise a program and make adjustments as needed to improve its effectiveness. And lastly, 2D map virtualization. The system includes a 2D map virtualization features that provides program managers with a visual representation of the Pandi resettlement residences. These features allow program managers for better understanding the layout of the community and identify areas that may require additional this support. This project aims research. to provide a platform where efficient and effective management of the community resources and services. To achieve this, the system is designed with different access levels to cater to the needs of various users. The first category of users is the residents who have the lowest access level. They can access basic features such as announcements, events, and feedback form of their system. This enables them to stay informed and participate in community events and initiatives. The second category of the users is a brand guide or community clerk. They have a higher access level than the residents and can manage all documents, requests, and feedback reports of residents. They can also manage records, post announcements, and events and events which helps to keep the community organized and informed. The third category of user is the Sarpentins International Makati Clerk. They have access to the 2D virtualization map but cannot view private or confidential information of residents such as their names. However, they can view demographics and other reports generated by the system which can help them in their initiative and advocacy for the community. The fourth category of the users is the Brangai Captain who has the highest access level of all. They can access all features of the system and have access to all data in the barangay, including this 2D map. They can post events or announcements, approve documents and requests, and review reports and feedback from the system. This level of access is crucial for effective decision-making and management of the barangay. Overall, the different access levels enable the efficient and effective management of community resources and services, ensuring the sustainability of the SIM ADAPT of Barangay program. The SWOT analysis for the development of a web based community management information system for friendly resettlement residences shows that the system's strength lies in providing real time data and enhancing communication among stakeholders, leading to more effective decision making transparency, and accountability. However, the system's weakness includes limited effectiveness due to lack of access of technology and potential resistance from skeptical community members. Opportunity includes serving as a model for other communities and generating data for research and policy recommendations, while threat includes vulnerability to cyber attacks and compromising privacy and security. Costly. The costing provided includes estimates for various expenses related to a project over a period of nine months. This include personal costs for a project manager, web developer, database administrator, quality assurance tester, and a resident community clerk, as well as a legal consultation and documentation fees, hardware and software costs, and other expenses such as internet and communication expenses, and office supplies and expenses. The contingency fund of 10% of the total cost has also been included. 
and the uh, total estimated monthly cost is calculated by adding up all the expenses and the duration of the project is 9 months. Finally, the total estimated cost is calculated by multiplying the total estimated monthly cost by the duration of the project, resulting in a figure of 662,789 pesos and 53 centavos. The development of a web-based community management information system for Pondere Resettlement Residences involves several testing procedures, including formative testing, unit testing, system testing, user acceptance testing, and summative testing. These mechanisms are essential to evaluate the system functionality, usability, reliability, and overall effectiveness. Adopting the ISO IEC 25010-2011 framework can ensure that the software meets Roptomis International Makati adopt a barangay program's criteria and contribute to the program's long-term sustainability. The deployment procedure for community management information system involves testing, selecting a reliable and secure hosting provider, setting up the necessary environment, installing, configuring and populating the system, providing training and support to users, and monitoring and maintaining the system security and updates. Following these steps can ensure the successful deployment and distribution of the system, which is essential for the program's sustainability. Five years time, the Community Management Information System for Pandi Resettlement re Residents will be a successful tool for decision-making and program development for SIM. <coughs> The system will be user-friendly and accessible to all residents, including Aling Gabriela and her family. It will provide access to various services and resources, including livelihood programs, health services, and educational opportunities for her children. The system supports SIM in monitoring and evaluating the impact of their programs, ensuring they meet the needs of residents. Ultimately, the system will create a thriving and sustainable community, providing residents like Alan Gabriela with a sense of security, stability, and hope for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, the development of web-based community management information system is not just a project. It's a commitment to the sustainability of Soroptimis International Makati's Adopt a Barangay Program. Our system empowers Pandi resettlement residents by providing them with a platform to manage their community's needs and resources effectively. With this system, we are not just creating a program. We are creating legacy that will uplift lives and inspire positive change. Together, let us embrace this opportunity to make a difference and build a brighter future for our community. Thank you for listening and have a great day.